Hello guys, I'm going to show you uh, my latest tutorial about how to install um, Android how to install Android um, sorry, wrong folder how to install Android uh, 4.2 Jelly Bean and uh, on Oracle VM VirtualBox I'll be leaving the link for for you to download the the ISO of the Android version of Jelly Bean 4.2 and also the download link for Oracle VM VirtualBox. Let's begin. First, of, first off, install VirtualBox and start it. Once you <coughs> once you see the screen, click New name it whatever you want I will name it like Android x86 4.2 Jelly B also choose type of operating system Linux and go with um, other Linux 32-bit uh, click next Choose at least one gigabyte of RAM, and that's exactly uh, 1024 megabytes. Next, create a virtual hard drive now. Now the system wants you to create eight gigabytes, but four should be enough. Go with VDI uh, virtual disk image, virtual virtual box disk image. Click next. Give it a fixed size. Choose, let's say, five gigabytes is a, is a, is a good, uh, good number. And this little folder here with the arrow, click on it to choose where the VDI file will be saved. Let's go to my desktop I'll, I'll be using right now and create a new folder. Android 4.2 JB Jelly Bean and save. Then create and wait a little bit for this um, this creating fixed medium storage unit uh, screen. For all that don't that uh, don't know, if you have already um, Android device like telephone or tablet, smartphone or a tablet, and you had it, you you have your or all your files backed up um, with a Google account. If you log in with the Google account inside this one, uh, every single thing that it's backed up will uh, be transferred that including navigator and uh, uh, call, uh, calling apps, uh, messaging apps, etc, 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 root apps, whatever you have uh, backed up in your Google account will be immediately transferred <coughs> That's going to be taking just a little while. Shouldn't take much though. There are actually many ways to many ways to do that. You can do it with uh, VMware Player or VMware Workstation or VMware Fusion, of course. Now, 
I prefer to do it with Oracle VM since it, uh, since uh, it, it is a free uh, virtual box manager and it's uh, it's quite good for uh, for the, the these purposes and um, yeah whatever pretty much uh, you can choose now oh, I'm not going to go through e each and every software what what it can do I'm only providing you with the one that is free and uh, quite easier to use in that case uh, uh, VM virtual box by Oracle almost done here It seems it seems to have uh, bugged a little bit, but it's back on. Okay, now go to settings. And uh, go to system. And check this floppy you won't be needing it. You can choose multiple multiple processors if you want, but I'll I'll go with one. Choose a video memory. <coughs> I'll be using 64, at least half. Just checking the settings and click start. It asks me for a host drive, host drive E. That is my, my ISO archive, and uh, here it is: 4.2 Jelly Bean. Start. Now, you have. You may see uh, you already have uh, options like run Windows Android. Uh, live without any installation. VESA, de VESA mode and debug mode, which I really have no idea what they are. Um, installation, installing it to your hard drive, and from that you can actually use it. Uh, use this uh, virtual machine um, image as. Uh, um, as a genuine Android device. Play games, install software, make tests. Even if you crash the system, you can, don't have to worry because you won't get uh, your phone bricked nor you will get your tablet bricked. But for our purposes, we'll go with 5C Android x86 without installation option. Go to it, click enter and wait click uh, machine and disable mouse, mouse integration when your mouse falls inside Android to get it back to Windows so working uh, environment just press uh, control right control of course you see it here in the right uh, bottom angle and we're starting the setup uh, process start
I will also show you how to uh, how to unlock the de uh, developer mode, which is uh, very essential if you're planning to root your device, and it works on every device, mobile phone, tablet. It's a basic uh, kind of hidden function of Android. Once you do that, you get access to options to options that are uh, that are normally hidden hidden, and you can enable the USB debug uh, debug mode. Skip that away. You have a Google account? Yes, I have. Sorry, I don't understand why my mouses are mixing like that. If you want, you can set up a credit card or not. I don't think so, so I don't do that. But it's your choice. Now here is the backup and restore. You can change your backup settings anytime in settings. Now, restore from my Google account to this tablet. Leave that. Keep this tablet backed up with my Google account. Now, I suggest to remove that because if you do a mistake or you get something that you, that you just want to test but you don't want to be transferred to all your devices that are uh, logged in to this system, uh, to this uh, account, then you better not make backups from not here on them. Go to continue, restoring. Use Wi Fi and mobile ne network uh, location. Let Google app, app uh, access your location, so leave that as, uh, as it is. Don't change nothing here. Choose time, of course. No, I'll leave it as it is. And setup is complete, your tablet is uh, ready to use. So, enabling uh, the, the special options, the developer options, you need to go to settings, that's on every phone or tablet, so basically you go down to about tablet or about phone depending on what device you have clicking there you will drag here and look for build number whenever you see that that's the place you want to click and start clicking practically like crazy and you'll see how many clicks are left until you become uh, uh, a developer or unlock the special options check it out now to one you are now a developer and here here they are developer options just appeared click on them and enable USB debugging mode okay also set it to say stay awake uh, while charging that will leave your device in a um, well light up while it's uh, in, in charging in charging mode, um, and then um, uh, 
I know the genome, but you can disable or enable or add more, remove, and go to security, enable, always enable unknown. Always enable unknown sources. So even if some program needs uh, needs to be passed through, but Android won't allow it. This this is uh, this is the way to jump over that uh, that protection. Um, you can uh, uncheck this if you want. It will make all your pass passwords uh, completely invisible. Uh, and uh, this function is what I love. This is like the the iPhone uh, locking pattern. I'll create a pattern for us. Clicking on a pattern. Let's choose this one. You can do it on your phone as well, or on your tablet. So when your tablet or phone is locked this will be the way to unlock it. Location and access, access my location, GPS satellites, Wi-Fi, network mode, locations. with the other functions if you want it will speech recording navigation this will functions transferred from my phone that tools depth settings see developer options and so on and so on well let's uh, that's it for me guys now uh, in case you're wondering if it all works well yeah because it is uh, connected to Google Play Store and it's already asking for updates for Gmail, Google Play Music, YouTube and Google Talkback that being said uh, that, that's that's all for me for now for now and um, don't forget to subscribe 